Hey Cricut Crafters, today's video I want to be talking about the differences between the different Cricut machines. Whether you're brand new to Cricut and maybe you're thinking of just purchasing one, you don't even have one yet, or maybe you have a Cricut and you're thinking of maybe upgrading or getting something different, or if you have the right Cricut machine for what you want to do. So today we're going to break it down and talk a little bit about the differences in the Cricut machines, the different Cricut families that they have, and what each machine kind of does. Now this is a super brief overview and I do have some going more into detail comparing specific ones and I'll leave that one right up here. If you're not too sure if you want to go with the Cricut brand yet or the Silhouette brand for your die cutting machine then go ahead and check out this video next. I'll also leave it in the description box and then that way it can help you make that executive decision. In the Cricut world there are a couple of main machines I would say. Basically let's break it down into three. So you have the Cricut Maker family which we'll talk about what's included in that. We have the Cricut Explorer family and then we kind of have the Cricut Joy which is that mini version. It's just its own little thing. It's great for things like cards, smaller projects with vinyl. You can actually use the Smart Materials which is a matless vinyl and you can go ahead and cut a very large amount. I believe it's up to 20 feet long for the Cricut Joy. Now with the Cricut Joy, because it is small, you are limited on the size for the width that you can cut. It is fairly small. I believe it is about six inches. I'll put the overlay of the exact measurements right here. But as you can see, it is a more affordable version if you're looking to make smaller paper crafts maybe some type of cake toppers and things like that, some little bit of vinyl. It is a great option for you if you're looking to just dip your toes into Cricut. And again, it's going to depend on what type of projects you are wanting to make. The Cricut Explore family is one of the most popular ones out there. The one that I own personally is the Cricut Explore Air 2, which I would say is one of the top Cricut machines that I have seen crafters using. And this is great for cutting things like vinyl. You can cut iron on vinyl. You can do print then cut if you're wanting to make things like stickers, you can make decals like I made here, and t-shirts, and I mean there are hundreds of materials that it can cut and do which is amazing, and that's the same as the Cricut Maker. They're very similar to what they can do. Essentially the Cricut Maker, which is just one up from that, can do even more. So if you're looking to do things like vinyl and all of those little projects and you're not too interested in cutting fabrics or you know, that type of thing, those specific like chipboard and basswood where you need to purchase the extra knives and blades like the Cricut Maker, which again is kind of essentially one up to the Explore family. Let's think of the Cricut Explore as like the middle sibling, you know what I mean? The Cricut Joy is under that and the Cricut Maker is that older sibling that's always sneaking out and is crazy. So. The middle sibling is a little bit cheaper than the others when I'm talking about the Cricut Explore. And recently they came out with the Cricut Explore 3, which you can actually use the smart materials, as I mentioned before, which is a vinyl that is matless, so you don't need to purchase a mat. You can load it in and it can cut up to 12 feet in length. And then you are still limited to the 12 inches in width because that is the size the machine goes. So that's a great option. You can make stickers, which they recently did an update on. So for print and cut, you're limited to about eight inches by close to 10 maybe 11 if it's working for you a lot of people have been experiencing some issues with that so once that is resolved I can update a little bit more but the Cricut Explore is a great option for many crafts it's great for businesses if you want to make little logos and things for your business it is amazing so if I were to choose anyone to suggest to you today I would suggest the Cricut Explore family. Look into it a little bit more. It is a cheaper price point than the Cricut Maker. If you're looking to just do like vinyl projects and card stock and cards and things like that, and you're looking to make shirts and all of those fun things, you're thinking of starting a business, it is a great option for that. It's a cheaper price point. It's fairly more of a quiet machine, I would say, which for me, I'll talk about in a little bit, but that's super important to me. And it just does great all around. I'm really impressed with that machine. And like I said, it can do a lot of things that the Cricut Joy can't quite do at this point because of its size. So it's really that one up, the middle sibling, and then we'll be talking about the, the big guy, the older one, the Cricut Maker shortly here, but it's definitely a great option. So again, it's really going to depend on what type of crafts you're looking to make. 
this bad boy. This is the Cricut Maker. I am obsessed. This is the previous version of the Cricut Made Here. There is a newer one that is out, and that is the Cricut Maker 3. This is the model previous to that, which is comparable to the Cricut Explore Air 2, and we will talk about that in a little bit here. But the Cricut Maker is kind of all in one. This machine is more expensive out of the Cricut families. This one tends to be more expensive and you can definitely find deals. For example, since the Cricut Maker 3, which is the higher up version has come out, I was able to purchase this for a much better price. So definitely look into it because this machine can cut a lot. Essentially, it can do everything that the Cricut Explorer can do and more. So you can cut things like basswood, faux leather, bonded fabrics. It has all of these different blades that you can take and interchange and it's great. It doesn't necessarily come with all of those blades and I want to mention that because I had no idea. When I bought my Cricut Maker, I thought I would be able to maybe purchase all of the blades along with it or that it would come with the blades that I need. It came with this blade and I believe one other one in the box. Hey grafters, sorry to interrupt. I'm just editing this video now and realized I didn't explain that properly. So with the Cricut Maker, the blade that came in the box was the premium fine point blade, the one that you need to cut things like vinyl, uh, cardstock, you know, like the simple one that comes with all the Cricut machines. So you don't have to worry about purchasing that separately. It does come with it, so you'll be able to start your project right away. The blades that I'm talking about that didn't come with the machine are the ones to use for bonded fabrics to cut basswood, to cut things like faux leather, the knife blade. The ones that are the extras, I thought, because I didn't really look into it, would come with the machine. But not to worry, the regular blade that you need to do your project as a Cricut beginner do come with the machine. So I just wanted to clarify that because uh, the way I explained it sounded a little funny. Alrighty, back to uh, better looking Shay. Okay. So you do have to go ahead and purchase the blades separately and that's because there are a lot of different types. There's the perforated one, there's a rotary blade, and I mean, the list goes on and on, and we can talk about more into detail for a specific video about the Cricut Maker. If you're interested, let me know in the comments down below if you want something like that, and I'm happy to do that for you. But essentially, this machine is a higher price point, and that is because it can do a lot more. It is generally faster. The cut pressure and power for it is, I believe, 10 times over what the Cricut Explore family does. So it is faster and things like that. Now from myself, what I have noticed from owning both the Cricut Maker and the Cricut Explore is the Cricut Maker is a lot noisier. And that's something to note because for example, I craft when the kids are napping. So for me, that's something that's super important, having it be quiet and calm in here. And this thing can get pretty noisy at times. I would say if you're thinking of doing some type of business, this would be a great option. It is just a wonderful Cricut machine altogether. You can get the 12 by 12 mat, you could get the 12 by 24 mat, and if you go ahead and get the Cricut Maker 3, it does even more. You can get the smart materials, like I mentioned, which allows you to cut up to 12 feet in length, and then you're going to be limited to the 12 inches in the width because this is the size of the machine. But again, it is another way to just up it and compare to its competitors like Silhouette and things like that. So the Cricut Maker is kind of the top tier of it. The price point isn't even that much more than the other ones. I would say it's about 100 to $200 difference depending on what one you're looking at. But if you're thinking of just starting out considering maybe doing a business and you're wanting to do things like cutting fabrics, a lot of faux leather and wood and chipboard and things like that, I would go ahead and look into the Cricut Maker. Maybe you don't want to go for the brand new one, you could go the one under like myself. It is a little bit cheaper and definitely a good one to consider. If you would like any more explanation, clarification, or for me to go more into details about each specific machine, more so than I've done in previous videos, please let me know in the comments down below and I would be more than happy to do that for you. I share tons of Cricut tips, tutorials, and Cricut business ideas to get you crafting with your Cricut, so I would love it if you would click that subscribe button, like the video, and shoot me a comment down below. Which Cricut machine are you leaning more towards getting, or which one do you already currently have? Are you thinking about upgrading? Do you like the one you have? 
I personally upgraded to the Cricut Maker, but if I were to choose one that was my favorite, it would actually be the Cricut Explore Air 2. I have talked about that in a few of my other videos, so definitely make sure to check those ones out to learn a little bit more of why I like that one the most, but which one is your favorite because I really think it's up to each person and their individual crafting needs. So there you have a very basic overview and breakdown of the differences in the main three Cricut machines that they have. I would say those are the most recent ones. They're definitely ones that were years and years past and they've done upgrades since then. And to go into detail about more machines, how to set these up, and all things Cricut beginners, go ahead and check out the tutorials I have up here in this playlist. It's great for Cricut beginners looking to learn how to unbox their Cricut and set it up because it can feel super overwhelming at first when you get it in the box. I do share Cricut content every single week, but in the meantime, until my next upload, feel free to check out this video here or this video here. Otherwise, I have tons of Cricut content over on my channel. If you go ahead and click on the name for my channel, it'll send you over there. You can go to the playlist and explore all of the Cricut crafting fun we have over there. We also have a Facebook group if you wanted to check that out. I would absolutely love to see you over on my Instagram or my TikTok, which you can see right up here. And I will see you all in the next one. Happy crafting and bye for now.